Hey there folks, it's Mark Johnson from tech-snobs.com. Today we're going to do an iOS 6 beta preview. Real brief, just some of the features that I uh, like a lot so far. Now obviously this is beta and things do tend to crash at times, but for the most part things work rather well, much better from the iOS uh, 5 beta preview from last year. So first things first, uh, we're going to go into the maps. And this is one thing that, you know, they even showed at the... Um, at the conference last week at WWDC and it was the Transamerica Pyramid and it actually it does turn out actually and I'm just go straight to San Francisco San Francisco um, has the nice 3D effect and I definitely like what they've done with this it's um, it's pretty cool as you zoom in the the amount of detail you get here is very it's very cool um, and as I keep you know, zooming in closer on the city, you should get this 3D effect here, and then you can kind of tilt the map just like you do on, uh, in you know, Android Google Maps, and then you get a nice, good amount of detail here. I get some nice 3D, um, you know, images of the structures here in San Francisco. It, it's, it's really cool. I mean, they've done a very, very good job with this. Um, there's obviously there's going to be more cities. I believe Chicago. And I want to say three or four more. I think New York is on the plans too. But this turns out to be a very, very nice feature. So I like what they've done there a lot. Another thing is, um, this is the, the new iPad with the 4G LTE. And I, I'm pleased to say that FaceTime does work over 3G and 4G. Um, I did do a test on that and that turns out to be uh, very nice. Works out very well. I want to show you another thing I like. Uh, once we go into the updates, you know, unlike the other iOS, like now if I want to update an app, um, let's zoom in a little bit here. If I click on update, it just starts installing it right here on the left hand side without kicking me back out into the, you know, to the desktop, which is very, very good. So now if you want to update a bunch of apps, you could just hit them here without having to go through it jumping back out to the desktop and then you gotta you know jump back in so that's very very nice in the featured section you know with the whole app store is completely redone and they had that um, you know up and running and I like the layout with this and they're gonna be doing some things with featured apps I heard with um, you know even you know various developers not just their own and they're gonna be you know showcasing them here at the top so that that's a very good thing they're doing you know helps other developers get out there um, you know, with exposure to the applications. Uh, another thing, when I pull down, the, you know, the drop down, you do have the the tweet and then the the Facebook, which is built right in, uh, which is very nice as well. Still has all the the gestures, um, you know, built in with the you know the five fingers and so forth. You also can share your uh, your photo stream, and you know those are very good to do. You know, um, you know, if you want to share a photo stream out with somebody. Another thing I do like, if you, you know, once you're in the Safari browser, you know, up here in the left-hand corner, you have the cloud button, and that works, and it, and it will show you, um, you know, some tabs I have open on the iPhone 4S, and I'll, I actually have iOS 6 on that as well, and a lot of things, you know, you know, apply to the iPad and the iPhone, but another good thing is like when you go into settings. You know, you have Bluetooth right there. You have Do Not Disturb. Uh, iCloud has added like the Passbook feature um, where you keep all your smart cards and so forth. Another thing I like about the Messages feature now is the fact that you get, um, you know, iMessage to me sometimes would just be kind of a pain because I would get messages on my phone or iPad and not on another but now you can tie them to your phone number and your email so you'll you'll get both of them I also did try FaceTime out on this as well which is very nice you know like the overall you know the maps function here works good and then you also have the ability you know with the navigation it does work as advertised so far but one thing I do want to show you is on the iPhone when you look at the music the music app is totally redone I mean it's a totally new look look and feel for it um, you still get the cover flow you know when you with your albums and so forth but it is definitely much different and I, one thing that I really really like is the iCloud 
match with the iTunes match, it does allow you now to stream. So like if I go in and I pick an artist, make sure that I may have to turn it back on. If I pick an artist, I will be able to stream it and it works rather flawlessly. I've tested that too. So hopefully they keep that feature. Um, sounds like Apple's been able to work out some things with the, um, you know, the developer, excuse me, with the music company so they can, you know, allow you to stream instead of downloading right to the device. Because that was kind of a thing before. I mean, yeah, you can have access to all your music, but if you had a low capacity device, you can't really download it all because you don't have enough space. So hopefully they'll keep that streaming feature in. And overall, you know, not a lot has changed so far. I mean, obviously you still got, you know, till the fall, till it comes out. But it is some nice tweaks to it. So hopefully we'll see more, you know, as time comes along. And, uh, you know, we'll be back to cover that once iOS 6 is out and hopefully with the new iPhone. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check me out on uh, Twitter at a, at a tech snob. And also I'm going to be doing some things, more things on Facebook and uh, Pinterest as well. And be sure to check me out at tech-snobs.com. Take care.